So that's really frustrating. All right, so here's the deal. I uh, finally have time to uh, work on my S14. It's taken quite a while. Uh, I have a lot of, you know, customer car stuff that I've been doing. Um, a lot of things have come in and out, but I finally have a chance. Well, I should say I've made some time to uh, work on the S14. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, get the engine into this thing today. So I just put in the brake booster, just, you know, in there a little bit. And uh, I'm about to put in the clutch master cylinder. And uh, then I'm gonna show you guys how to dump an LS into one of these things. Fingers crossed that it works. Um, and yeah, so watch this go. This is a uh, Willwood master cylinder. This is part of the uh, ISR master cylinder kit. I actually like this kit. Um, it comes with this nice fitting, so you're not piling fittings on fittings. And it comes with a clevis, which most of these don't. So uh, it's pretty nice, and uh, now I'm gonna throw it in. Got the Willwood master cylinder in. It took a little finagling. I had to pull the uh, brake booster back out, but I'm about to throw that back in. So now I watch that, I guess. This one's pretty easy, not gonna lie. I just grab it, run the gasket back up. There we go. And then slide it on in. There we go. When something's made for the car, it's much easier. Uh, but basically what's gonna happen is we're going to remove the steering shaft and install the driver's side header first. We do this because the header, which I have over here, um, this little canal that you see right here, the steering shaft goes through that. That's pretty standard on S chassis, really anything with the steering rack behind the subframe. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I have this paint pen here because we need to mark the steering rack so that it hopefully goes back exactly how it came off. I just got the steering rack uh, reconnected after putting the header around it. Uh, I think this job needs two people. I think it's basically impossible to do on your own. Um, I just did it, but not really. The steering rack's not fully seated because I, I basically think that I have to wait until I put the motor in and then bolt the header to the motor to be able to fully reconnect it. With the header free floating like this, it just, you know, you, you can't do anything because it's just in your way the entire time. You have to lift the header while still somehow using both hands on the steering rack, like with tools. So I, I think it's impossible to do with one person. I think you need another person to literally hold the header up while you do the steering column stuff. So, uh, What's gonna happen now is, uh, I guess I'll try to get the motor in this thing. Well, motor and trans.
I think to get this motor in, I have to extend this arm out uh, past where you should, and I have to take all the accessories off this thing. Uh, so that sucks, but here we go. All right, there you go. I yanked all the accessories off. I threw it in this box, which really sucks because they have a lot of spacers and stuff. Um, so it's putting them back together is going to be terrible. But uh, I also moved this out to, I'm not going to lie, an unsafe level. But we're going to give it a try anyway. Here we go. So the next thing we have to do is cut a two inch hole, well not a hole, cut a two inch extension I guess you could say off the back of this for the shifter to fit. Here you can see the shape that I've marked out. Um, it's nothing particular or fancy, but I think it'll work. Um, and now I don't know what I'm going to cut it out with, I'll have to figure that out, but probably an angle grinder or a sawzall or something like that. That should do it. Now we'll try it again. All right, so what I just did was fabricate this transmission mount here. It's not a full fabrication by me. I ordered a GK Tech uh, CD009 trans mount and it didn't fit. Um, I, I think it was made for a CD009 on an SR20 or something like that. So with the LS, it didn't fit. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, so I modified it by uh, welding on tabs on the front to extend it a little bit. And then there's uh, new hardware in there. So it works. And uh, that completes the motor going into the car. There's an LS motor officially sitting in an S14. The AC uh, looks like it clears very handily, which is good. Um, the, I mean, the motors fit in these cars pretty well, honestly. So, I, uh, I did beat the out of the, uh, or I beat the heck out of the trans tunnel, and it looks like I made myself ample room in there. So, <laughs> good. Uh, now, the next steps are, I'm, I'm actually going to clean the engine bay up a little bit, and I'm going to put the factory stuff that's not in here back in, brake lines, that sort of thing, and then I'll start plumbing the rest of the motor, you know, I'll have to put the accessories back on, I'll have to get a radiator in it, do all that stuff. But, uh, you know, yeah, soon enough it'll be together and I think good. 
So, see you then.